welcome to Vlogging Every Day in October. I am your host. Today is October 3rd. Da da da. Chill out my bat wings. And we're back. Shit. I thought I was going to be set aflame. Okay, October 3rd. Here are the factoids I have for you today. In 1849, American author Edgar Allan Poe is found delirious in a gutter in Baltimore, Maryland, under mysterious circumstances. It is the last time he is seen in public before his death. He was fucked up anyway, but you know, wrote some amazing stuff. Okay, today's movie uh, recommendation is Tim Burton. Oh yes, don't you just love it? I absolutely fucking love this movie. Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp. It's amazing. Johnny Depp stars as Ichabod Crane, a man who has to confront the legend of the axe-wielding headless horseman, played by Christopher Walken, in order to win the heart of Katrina Van Tassel. It's set in 1799. Sleepy Hollow is based on Washington Irving's classic tale, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. It's not that scary, but it's lovely and Tim burton -y, if you know what I mean. I'd also recommend Edward Scissorhands. True ghost story. The following events actually happened and the people in the story are real life people. I will use different names to protect their identity. If you do not believe in ghosts, this may change your mind. It all started about two months after Fiona's sister Molly committed suicide. At first, Fiona thought she was going mad and just hallucinating. She first saw Molly again on a weekend morning in the summer. She only saw the bottom half of her. Molly was headless and walking around by the patio doors in a pair of jeans. Very specific for a ghost there. Fiona was all alone. Her husband was at work at the time. She could just see a pair of Molly's jeans and a bit of her t-shirt walking around. It was very bizarre. A few days later, there was another spooky happening. Fiona was home alone yet again. She was sitting on the floor, cleaning a chair in the living room, minding her own business. And she was giving that chair a good dusting. She had a large round coffee table in the centre of the room. And it was far too heavy to just move on its own. Her back was turned. She decided to go into the kitchen to get a drink. She turned around. And to her horror, she dropped her can of polish. The large table had moved so that it was right beside her. She did not even hear it move. A few days later, she found that things would go missing from her purse, like her house keys and the keys to the patio where she had seen the headless figure of her sister. She would often find them in unusual places around the house. It was as if Molly was trying to let her know that she was there. The tables and chairs would often move around the, across the room without an explanation. And when she visited her daughter's house, it seemed like Molly was there too, moving things around. Fiona said that eventually Molly's visits became less frequent as time went on. Fiona was glad that Molly visited her and was friendly to her. It made her feel closer to her sister and know that she is always there for her. What a lovely story. At least she wasn't an evil ghost. Or well, maybe she was, and she's just she's biding her time. I think that's it for today. Uh, join me tomorrow. Hopefully, it might be a bit better. I hope you enjoy this lamp behind me because I find it fascinating. Okay, guys, have fun and remember to watch Sleepy Hollow tonight. Ooh, spooky! I will see you tomorrow. It's the fourth.